Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Half-Life Opposing Force. So, yeah, I mean, I have to redo this part again because I kind of fucked up and I just threw a grenade right there like an idiot. Come on. Alright, there we go. Alright, now I'm going to have to wait here for a bit. We were finally able to successfully detach one of the barnacle creatures from its point of gestation. As before, we were still only able to coerce the creature into latching onto organic material. Unfortunately, the administrator has called me down to the anomalous materials lab this morning for an important experiment. So I don't have any time to further my analysis. Take specimen number 1176 and log any field Alright. Alright, we have Barnacle again. We can do things. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, whatever. Alright. So. Al. Alright, so yeah, now I can actually show off the barnacle proper. Yeah, I can latch on to organic material, so we can do some epic uh, platforming. So, you know, that's quite neat. It's one of the most unique uh, weapons in the game, in my opinion. Damn it. Of course. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, this this weapon's essentially like the oh, piss off. No, open. Come on. Not even a chance. Oof. Anyways, I'm not even gonna bother with the rest of those, because it's not even worth the time. Well, now let's see, we'll wor work against Race X. No, it does not. Come on. Yeah, the hand thing will die after a short amount of time, so it doesn't exactly matter if uh, it do it, you have to kill her or not, so... That was bad explanation. I'm bad at many things. Alright, uh... No storage. Keep area clear. Anyways, I'm not gonna go to that elevator yet, because I want to explore a bit. Specimen containment area. Looks quite interesting. And oh boy, it's the arms from that one chapter. So yeah. That doesn't open, and there's no way in hell that we're going to get through this. Well, I, you can, but I'm not going to bother. So, I'm going to go ahead and latch onto one of these boys. And... Damn it.
Oh boy. Okay. So now we shall head over here. Seems like fun. I guess I can't break that. Alright. <clears throat> and now... Uh, I need to turn off the power. These are very large vents, I must say. Alright, now we are into the pitworm's nest, and I got stuck on a wall. Sick. Alright. We are now into the pitworm's nest. Anyways, there is a bit of ammo in these crates, so I'm gonna just go ahead and break them. Come on. And uh, if you remember anything about Half-Life 1, you know uh, you have to deal with that uh, worm thing that we saw back there in uh, the... Uh, I'm trying to remember the chapter's name. Uh, the Blast Pit. If remember that, and uh, yeah, this chapter is essentially the same thing. So to uh, get past the thing, oh fuck yeah, we have to get to the bridge control. However, we can't do that because uh, the the pit worm is blocking the way. So, what are we supposed to do? Now, first off, I remember I have to go where to go, not down here, because that's uh, instant death. Um, so yeah, we have to head down here. Those guys have way too good aim. Like, goddamn, man. We can't go that way, so we shall go through. Oh my god. Alright, so we shall go through the ventilation, as is standard for Half-Life. And we shall flush the- and first, to uh, get rid of the pit worm, we have to flush the toxic waste. So to do this, we have to activate the gearbox and activate the valve. Huh, I see what you did there. You're really funny, gearbox. You're- you're- re you're really funny, gearbox. You are hilarious. You are so goddamn funny. I, I must say, you are hilarious. You are absolutely. Anyways, uh... Actually, no, we're gonna turn on the valve first. We're not trying to get the gearbox first. Fuck that. Uh, anyways... 
Okay, can this thing, I forgot, can this thing, like, uh, that would be sick. Attaching this thing, attaching that thing to fucking ladders, that would be great, man. Fortunately, can't do it. Oh well. I feel like I, sh sh I should use the magnum a bit more. Anyways, turn the steam vent on. No, I don't want to say anything. Shut up. Okay, so the vent is on. However... Ah, oh, goddamn, I should really unbind that. Okay, the vent is on. So, we're going to latch onto over here. Ow! And turn on the pressure valve. And now I shall run my ass off back here. So, the valve is now on. Let me make sure I have a... I have a fair bit of ammo for this thing. And now, unfortunately, we have to turn on gearbox. Sad day, sad day, I know. Ow! Ow! I think this thing is also sound, so I kind of have to... Ow! No. Whatever. <laughs> I made it past anyways. Anyways, apparently, to activate the gearbox, you have to do a bit more. Totally not implying anything, but... You know, that's just... that's just how I do, I guess. Bloodied handprints, and a gun right there, so... I'm sure that things only went down very well. One of the dead... Uh, we can find the remains of the dead HECU down here. Applying that... Uh, they are all dead. Unsurprising. <laughs> the dead marines mean they're all dead. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, man. Oh boy. My commentary is fan fucking tastic, I must say. Gearbox. Gearbox. Pump gearbox axe. Axe. Gearbox. <sighs> Breathe. Hey. Man, I cannot talk. And now, we can press that. And it will crush everything. With all that done, and with all that done, I think the door is open. Is that it reveals that uh, great grating right there? So yeah. Really, that didn't call. Outtake intake. And now, unfortunately, we have to turn on gearbox. Sad day, sad day, I know. Anyways, we are going to hurry the fuck out of here. Make sure there's nothing down here, and, uh... the gearbox turned on, we shall sh sh slowly, slowly ascend. Alright, 
So with both the valve and gearbox turned on, only if we could turn gearbox off afterwards. With them turned on, we can now head back. Now we can flush the toxic waste. And it basically cooks the pitworm alive. And the pitworm is now dead. Guess I might as well grab another one of those, since they're right there. Again, jump on top of here. And with the pitworm dead, we can indeed do the bridge control. And I nearly jumped into the toxic waste because I'm an idiot like that. And that is that chapter. Yeah, pretty short chapter. Now we're on to Foxtrot Uniform. And the shiny things are pointing towards this away. Are these shiny things even, like, are these, are those shiny things ever, like, even explained? I don't remember. Hmm. Anyways, we have to, uh, head up here. Uh, okay, that was close. And then, we can now finally head back up to a surface, you yeah. know. It's been quite a while. And we can grab the very legendary machine gun. Which is quite OP in many ways, and uh, I'm nearly dead. Well, that did not go over well. In many ways, Opposing Force is kind of like the Plutonia of Half-Life. It's a lot more action-based and uh, a lot more hit scanners. I cannot hit the explosives to save my fucking life. Alright, there we go. I actually hit the explosives. What a surprise. Anyways. Get some more explosives. These spec ops are very, uh... Are very, uh... They, they like to use explosives, is what I'm trying to say, but I can't fucking say it, because I can't talk at all. Goddamn. Alright, let's actually move onwards with the game... see it coming.
All right. Really? Really now? Gearbox, fix your fucking shit. <sighs> Goddamn. Okay, uh, after getting stuck like 50 times, hey man, it's fine now. Well, I can't believe you made it past those masked freaks. Those snipers have pinned us down here pretty good. We tried making a break for it, but they know we're here. They're just waiting for their shots, and those bastards are patient. Hmm, seems quite interesting. Anyways, we get restocked with ammo here, which is always a very good thing. Unfortunately, there's nothing in that box. I wish there was something. Maybe like a chum toad for just like the observant player who wants to smash every box in the game. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here! You got it, Corporal. I'll be right behind you. Yep. That was quite epic, I must say. I'm a natural born alien killer. Those aren't al- Okay. So yeah, we can't uh, do much because uh, there's kind of a lot of explosives around all of us, so... Attempt to throw a grenade into there. Come on. Uh, actually, on second thought, don't throw grenades around, because there's a shit ton of explosives everywhere. So you should just really watch your fire all around. No, you should not do that. Okay. So one of the guys is dead. Oh, well. No, you fool! <sighs> really? Uh, I might as well use the, uh, the, the 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 claw thing. Uh, don't! Okay. That was a close call. Okay. More of the, uh, ammo for that thing right there. I just want to destroy the box. I guess I can't. Oh well. Looks like we can't go down there, unfortunately. So we won't. Don't they know that there's like explosives everywhere that will kill all of them? Come on.
Okay, there we go. The hell are you doing hanging out over there? Why are you walking in circles? <laughs> eh, whatever. Anyways, we get the sniper rifle, which is quite OP in many ways. I don't like I mind or anything. Because OP sniper rifle is always OP. And that is just okay. Someone wasn't the brightest tool in the shed. Okay, it looks like all of them are dead, so... Shouldn't have to worry about it. At least for right now. The alien claw is really nice to have, because it recharges. Anyways, there's uh, this area has no textures, but you can get behind it for some reason. Come on, Gearbox, fix your fucking shit, and get up off your ass and stop being a lazy piece of shit. Okay. We're now into the sewer section. How fun. It looks like someone exploded the uh, traps that were set up there. Now we have more race X creatures. Yeah, there's a fair bit of these guys around, so... Probably best just to run from it. Like that one map in Scythe. I'm getting absolutely wrecked by everyone. Oh yeah, I think they'll uh, keep coming, as long as uh, the uh, door is open, so I think, yeah, we have to actually close that door. Okay, so that's done and over with. However, there's another door that's over there, which will also spawn mo more of them, so... Have to eventually I'm going to have to t deal with them. Which I very much shall. I, I can make that jump. Okay. Bam. There we go. Okay, with that taken care of, we can move along. And oh boy, more of these things.
Okay. With that taken care of, we shall move right along. Anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna run mostly. And uh, we've pretty much made out of it. Oh yeah, I think I'm full on ammo for those things. Which means I should probably use them. Some kind of big standoff at the dam up ahead. I say we make our break for it now. It ain't gonna get any better, that's for sure. And I bet they could use our help. Seems like fun. Sir, hello, sir. Anyways, I'm gonna grab a few ammo here. Break all these boxes and get some healing. Keeping you in one piece is proving to be quite a challenge. This place makes boot camp seem like Disneyland. Alright, now I'm fully healed. And I'm gonna leave it off here, because we've been going on for too long. So yeah. I will see you sometime later. Bye!